Hi family, I hope you're good. I hope you're feeling blessed. It's your sister Poshia Mohau again. Um, thank you so much for being part of the channel. I would like to welcome all of you, welcome new members, welcome um, uh, new subscribers and also welcome returning subscribers and apologize also uh, for taking long to to upload but the truth is uh, i'm in preparation and prayer for the assignments that i am handling at the moment and uh like i already told you there is one that is um uh, it's far away from where i am so i need to prepare as much as i can with regards to prayer you know we we need to be physically and spiritually ready for any kind of assignment that god gives us the local ones doesn't need too much of of, of work uh, because it's close to you but then when it's one that is far you need to be prepared emotionally physically and spiritually so you need to take time with the word of god and take time with the lord and just seek the guidance of the holy spirit in order to do everything because in all this glory must be given to god without wasting much of your time uh today i want to tell you a certain story but it is done in my spirit that i need to make people aware of few things that i i look at um from where i come from and my understanding of you know uh spiritual things and that we are so blind in understanding that we are actually working with people that are not people number one we are working with people that are destined for hell and we are working with people with the heart of stone you know um there's so much atrocities and so much um turmoil there's so much chaos the fallen angels uh, uh did on this world that's why some would say it's a fallen world that humans that man would not comprehend but how do you come to that understanding once you are born again and you have been baptized with the holy ghost and you you have matured in discernment you have matured in your spiritual walk with the lord uh, when you look at certain things you have an understanding that this may be a uh, this may not be ordinary in the sight of man, but it has more to do uh, than a force that you do not see. You know, there are people that are born of these deities that are unseen, but they are uh, in our midst. Uh, that is why you need to be very, very careful as to where your, 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 your life will end. Uh, after this because there is another life after this anyway without wasting your time i would like to 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 say to somebody tonight that the world is not as it seems the world is not what you see and uh what you see consider it good because you see it and what you see consider yourself blessed to be able to see it what you need to be praying for is that which is unseen because that which is unseen has much more influence in the uh, in the physical world and be that be on the side be the one that is on the side that rules from now to eternity uh this is not to say uh, i'm trying to win you over to a kingdom i serve which is the kingdom that will last but it's to tell you that um the the unseen realm has so much influence on the physical realm you just don't find yourself to be a person that is vulnerable today i want to tell you a story of a minister of, 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 of a church let me just say this person it was an overseer of a church a founder of a church i cannot call him man of god because he was not a man of god he was a man of a deity that was known to us by and by him he was uh, a spiritual son of uh, our colleague 
in witchcraft in a sense he was our son he belonged to us he was wicked and evil because he was not who he he portrayed himself to be and we used to go to his church uh, on certain occasions to collect something and he had to prepare for us because some entries it depending on what we wanted to do we would just go straight to his uh, office and then project ourselves into his uh, congregation through uh, three specific versions and one of these virgins on this time around we could not enter the midst of the congregation because this uh young uh virgin had a certain relationship close relationship with what i would call an unordained prophet an unordained prophet or uh, you know these young ministers that you would consider an image someone that still needs to be groomed by an elder and arrogantly and ignorantly so he did not take consideration of this young uh, prophet only to find that this prophet will be a very huge obstacle for us this one time first we used to go to his church uh, family we went at some point and this church was a church that was showing signs that someday we will not be able to to overdo to work and do whatever we want to do in their midst we only go to this church to collect what we want to collect and leave because the pastor of this church has an agreement with us so he has opened uh gates in a sense for us to enter and do whatever we want it was what we enjoy it was something that we were used to doing so this one time we went that was the first sign that we shouldn't go back to that church the first time we went we had to do what we had to do by this time we couldn't enter these 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 girls so we went straight the way we are dressed like like ordinary people in order for us to do what we want to do collect and leave but something happened this young man was still there he was just praying and you know influencing those he calls his you know a group of those he prays with in this church they started praying started praying i remember family i felt like there was a bulge a huge huge uh like a balloon on my abdomen and i knew that i'm about to 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 be humiliated in a sense and embarrassed because once you come to the fire like this you must know that you are going to be put to shame so when i felt this balloon filling up in my abdomen i stood it didn't take me long because i was going towards their toilets remember we are visitors and then water just started coming out and they were feeling it too one we were three ladies one of them also felt it she just did it right where she was sitting the spiritual mother of this pastor followed me and i asked her what happened didn't you brief him like the night before why is this happening to us so we had to call him to order make sure that he, he, he shortened the service so that people can go so that we'll be freed because we were just like taps taps because of these prayers of this young man and so this he embarrassed us first time but thankfully for the pastor he was there he was able to free us and the mother had to reprimand him you know punish him the second time we went there to collect we had to now project inside the the bodies of the virgins because it was like every after a long time like first time six months we go we collect what we collect we go and then another 12 months come we have to collect something now this is like it's counted um term for something much bigger for him to continue to be like this so entering these virgins is not a child's play 
we have to be in his office project ourselves to these girls but amongst these girls we are three the girls are three the girls have been marked there are girls that are used in the church made example in the church are treated well are staying with mama pastor and papa pastor because they are destined for 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 ministry you know he had prophesied so the families trusted him so much with these children so amongst them there was one that was taking uh you know uh, private prayers with this amateur prophet that i will call it so when we arrived we are in this office when we are in this office family this young prophet was praying praying then he he began to prophesy in the midst telling them that i i feel a certain spirit that is not supposed to be here and this pastor was like trying to disturb him and remember now this young man has mobilized people that he's praying with he just told them that we we need to pray let us pray there is a spirit that is in our midst that's not supposed to be here family the girls started to manifest two girls started to manifest the one that is the third girl with them started to pray we we need their bodies now they are we are unable to to occupy the bodies of these virgins and two already are manifesting and telling our story and we are in the office family <laughs> The pastor's wife came in and we told her that you need to lock us in, call your husband and lock us in. So the husband has to make us, we, we, he has to make sure that we are awoken because we are going in a trance. We are sleeping on, a, we made an angle, a triangle on the ground. He put us in a circle that is supposed to put us so that we project to that those girls, it's it's something that's not happening the church is busy praying the pastor alone is now in a sense afraid of this young pastor and we also we need the pastor the pastor is also needed so the pastor tells his wife that you have to take over the service until the service is finished so that family have you been naked in front of a man a strange man that you don't know that's witchcraft Witchcraft doesn't care who you are, how you are. When an assignment has to be done, it has to be done. You know, family, due to the punishment we received in this church and due to this untouchable, because these were now virgins that were untouchable, we've used these kids, not once, not twice, probably more than four, five times. We've used these, these girls, but these girls were becoming untouchable through prayer and someone that had higher power, you know, in their midst that the pastor was ignoring and thinking he's just an ordinary boy. We could no longer uh, take charge of this church and the pastor had to be punished severely in as much as his church was broken down because of what be befell him. The church stood because of this prophet that was not was not uh, ordained was not taken serious because i remember at some another point where we went she, he was just saying they must pray and the pastor was like keep quiet and the, he kept telling the past we were there also uh, at that time that was another event where we should have seen that we should not ever go back to the church and we kept asking the spiritual mother that do you see the warnings that we are getting from that church we're gonna end up getting burned there and she was you know ignorantly not looking at the things that could endanger our lives so there was a time we went to the church and we were in their midst he said that the, the young prophet kept saying you know he was praying he kept saying they must pray and the pastor was silencing him and you know when the pastor says pray they were praying and then he kept going he kept going not necessarily to say go and cause commotion in your churches but there are servants of god i've seen this several times i've seen what they consider an amateur 
being used mightily by God where we are in our midst. I've seen it once the other one was chased out and on this one, he kept ordering the church to pray and the pastor was like, shut up, you know, shut up. It's like, now you are trying to be the pastor of this church. Second time he prayed, we, we, we had, um, you know, an accident down there, just flowing. So other time he prayed, we could not leave our bodies to enter. The assignment, it was like a hiccup that could have cost us our lives. And a hiccup that came upon this pastor and in a very, very uh, bad way, family. Because he ended up counting papers in the streets. I hope I make sense. You know, losing his sanity family because of a prophet that was not ordained that was looked down at but someone with a gift from god a lot of people i've seen they're like that and pastors because they take time to see other ones it's because pastors take time to see them in the church that you actually have someone that is highly gifted uh and really called other pastors are just ignorant and they want to be the one that are up there. They end up not grooming uh, the young men or young women that they have to groom. Um, but it's always good to listen to the spirit of God. You know, in as much as people are confused about tongues, tongues are truly heavenly language and there's power in the tongues not necessarily because i've experienced it in my shrine when i received my tongues i was in a point where i could have broken down you know i was close to a window in a very high apartment and that thing came i was in a very bad state maybe someday i'll make a video of when i received my tongues and you need to understand even long before i was taken to to, to initiation school, I spoke a language they never understood. And I always look back and I'm like, are you sure people I was called for ancestors because they told me that they could not hear my language at home and they brought me here without understanding. So uh, whenever a person is directed to pray intensely in tongue, probably firstly edifying themselves, then the, the spirit leads to that language you must know in your midst. Possibly there are people that are not of God and they are speaking a language that is of darkness. You know, because if a witch is in your midst, in order for them to do whatever they do or transform, they need to speak a strange language. So I believe God has also gifted people to interpret tongues. If genuinely people can speak tongues that are of heaven, they'll be able to understand when a witch is in their midst. This is a story of another day. But today, I just wanted to encourage someone that may find themselves young in, 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 in a church, you understand? Even if you feel these things or you 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 feel led by the spirit to do something notify your your pastor sometimes you have a gift that he has not yet recognized you know come close to him he'll notify he, he, he will recognize it because the bible says jesus grew in 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 favor with man and god you know he did not only grow in wisdom he also grew in favor with man and God. So you need to be looked at, you know, they, they need to see you. If they don't see you, make sure that in your call or in your gift, it is used for the glory of God in church and edifies the body of Christ so much that it cannot be shut down. You may be the very same versal, 
that is used in order to block evil that is meant for any type of of a congregation you must remember jesus before he said uh, upon this rock uh, i'll build my church and no gates of hell shall shall prevail he used a person he spoke these words upon a person so we are the body of christ and no hell will prevail but you may be the very same person or person that jesus wants to use in order for evil errors not to come around your community as a church even if the pastor of a church belongs to a certain altar you may be the same person that god uses to free the souls that is in your midst in the name of jesus just sit and firmly understand that the power that raised jesus the power that raised our lord jesus lives in you and the authority of our lord and savior christ jesus is in you may the grace and peace of god be with you don't move in fear don't move in fear job says that which i feared most has uh, 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 has come upon him you know job did not go down or the devil had that or the, yes God, the devil communicated with the with, with god but there's something that job feared and that which he feared was upon him may you never move with fear may you understand that jesus lives in you and jesus has overcome for you in jesus name i love you family god loves you more stay blessed if you have virgins in the church please mold them in prayer those are serious errors may the grace and peace of god be with you i love you god loves you more stay blessed